Hey, welcome back to Life on the Wrist. Hope you're doing well. So today we're going to be talking about the Bathing Ape and Swatch collaboration. There was a pre-release event in Japan in late May and it basically released the designs and, and showed what the collaboration basically created. Um, obviously, I found this on Instagram. I was scrolling through my feed and saw some pretty interesting watches that were released. So I thought today we would kind of talk about it, give you guys some an idea of what they created and, and show you some of the pictures that of the watches that were pre-released. Um, as you may know, if you are um, if you are a regular at Life on the Wrist, I'm a huge fan of Swatch. I think everyone, every watch collector should own a Swatch sometime in their um, watch collecting life. Um, if not, have a watch a Swatch in your collection for life. Um, I'm a huge fan of this Watch System 51. I think it's a great entry-level watch, but also something that you can enjoy even if you are a very high-end collector. Um, obviously, Swatch is a watch company that creates um, entry-level watches and um, is, is based in Switzerland. Then um, Bathing Ape or Bape is a Japanese uh, streetwear brand. So they've created some very interesting, you know, clothing lines and, and those types of things. And they came together and created these very interesting watches. The um, kind of base for their for this collaboration was um, Swatch's Big Bold model. Um, the Big Bold model actually is has a very, very large diameter, for, at least from my wrists. It's almost 50, mil, 50 millimeters in diameter. Um, so it's definitely a larger case, probably more towards um, you know, a, a younger generation or someone who has a larger, um, a larger wrist. Um, what they ended up creating was this, um, this bezel, which has the names of various cities on them. And then at 12 o'clock is the city that is, um, that model was created for. So, um, you know, let's say it's, a, it's the model for Japan. J Japan's going to be at 12 o'clock and it's going to be in a different color. That's basically the, the idea behind it and it's obviously obvious, and the big big uh, bold model has a crown at two o'clock so it's a little bit of a different case um, design which you know it's kind of kind of nice and kind of quirky and it's nice to have something a little bit different than your regular crown at three o'clock so there were six versions of this watch that they created the first one was a camo version with the name Tokyo at 12 o'clock um, this obviously green camo uh, very very this is the one that I saw on Instagram that really caught my eye um, there's also one for Bern in Switzerland, which is, um, it's got a black watch with a blue blue and red accents on it, and obviously Bern is at 12 o'clock. Then there's a Paris version, which is in uh, red, white, and blue camo, and obviously Paris is at 12 o'clock. There is a New York version, which has, uh, which is a white camo on the strap and the watch, and has um, a yellow dial, which is very, you know, quite bold and quite New York <laughs> and obviously New York is at 12 o'clock the fifth version is London um, this is a black watch with a red bezel or excuse me red dial which is also very very bold and has London at 12 o'clock and the last one is Tokyo another Tokyo version and that's got this um, black uh, camo strap and it's got a white dial um, with a camo map of the world which I think is kind of the centerpiece for their entire collection because it's trying, I guess, to, you know, it's a global, it's trying to bring the globe a little bit smaller. Um, and it obviously has Tokyo at 12 o'clock. So all these versions are limited to uh, 1,993 pieces. Um, this was the year, 1993 was the year that Bathing Ape was formally founded. So you're going to have a limited piece. Uh, all these six versions only have 1,993 pieces. And the official release date for these watches will be June 15th. So, um, but by, by the time this video is released, this probably have these watches have probably been released. If not, have already been sold out. Um, you know, these are very. This is a very cool collaboration between these two companies. I'll give you my opinions on these watches. If I'm completely honest, these watches are really not my taste. Um, for me, I have very small wrists, so they're too big uh, for my wrist. But they're also just too much going on, too busy and doesn't really fit in with, with the way in which I dress and the way in which, you know, my lifestyle basically. But I can totally see the, um, I can totally see how these watches would be very, very desired. They're very, it's very, very cool, very, very just like down to earth, kind of like Swatch System 51s, but a little bit more flavor to them. I think that's where Bathing Apes brand has kind of injected itself into Swatch. 
Um, it's got a very, very young vibe to it as well. I don't know if you guys have seen the, the video release from them, kind of, you know, marketing this watch, but really, really awesome um, video that kind of brings that youth vibe to, towards the watches. And I can, all, I can totally see how these watches are gonna be extremely collectible. The first thing, it's a collaboration with that Swatch has done, which they don't do very often. Um, also, there's a limited quantity of these watches, and that means that, you know, if you're going to own one, there's only, if you own one of these, then there's only 1,992 other people who could possibly have these on their wrist. So, you're getting something very limited, and as I always say in my videos, I like unique, I like things that not everyone has, and, and this collaboration ex is exactly what it is. It's also really cool that these watches are all tied together. So I can totally see people, you know, wanting to own one of every single, one of the six, or all six of them. Um, I can totally see that happening and perhaps people trading like, oh, I'll give you New York for London, or, you know, I'll give you Bern for Paris or something like that, you know? So I can see it being quite a cool collector's community around these watches. Um, you're, if someone's gonna want to own them all and I can totally see that happening. So I think it's a really cool collaboration, not my taste, but it's very, very awesome. I think Swatch and Bathing Ape have done a really great job here. It's obviously going to be divisive. If you're not into this type of aesthetic, then this is definitely not what, what, you're, what you're looking for. Um, but yeah, my opinion, not my taste, but really awesome collaboration. And I like the concept behind it and I can see it being very, very collectible in the future. So on that note, if you guys are new to the channel, I would love if you could subscribe to us. We create videos about watches, just about anything about watches. So um, hit that subscribe button. It's very, very easy. It's just down below. Um, and if you wouldn't mind liking this video, it'd really be appreciated. And comment below what you think about these watches. Are you planning on getting one? Have you already gotten one? Um, did you buy all six? I'd love to hear about it. And um, yeah, I'd love for you guys to join the Life on the Wrist community. And on that note, I hope you guys have a nice rest of your day.